पसीना निकल वाला है बहुत ज्यादा आए हाय हाय भाई पसीना निकलेगा बॉडी चो ता ही ता तुसी बिल्कुल फिट एंड फाइन रह सकदी हैगी वना ओके सो देखो इस बॉडी का ख्याल रखना साडे ऊपर हैगा बॉडी का ख्याल नहीं रखदे है गया ते ऑन वाले टाइम दे विच जेड़े नेगेटिव रिजल्ट्स है गए ने वो साडी बॉडी दिखाना शुरू कर देंदी हैगी है हाय मैं मेरी चर्बी किन्नी बढ़ गई इतना मोटा हो गया मेरा मुंह कद्दू जिड्डा हो गया हाय बीबी मेरे गोडे दुख दे हाय वे मेरे बैक पेन हो रही है ये सारी चीजा जड़ी है ता ही होंगे ने जे तुम अपनी बॉडी का ख्याल नहीं रखते हो वर्कआउट नहीं करते हैं गए हो सो बॉडी को थोड़ा जहा टाइम जरूर दो चाहे अद्धा घंटा घंटा जरूरी है ना कि आप फिटनेस वाल भी ध्यान दई अपनी बॉडी को ता ही असि अपनी बॉडी को लंबा बिल्कुल चिलैक्स सकते हैं ओके सो जिदा कि मैं तो क्या कि फिटनेस का खास ख्याल रखना है तो फिटनेस का ख्याल असी भी रख रहे हैं रेडियो सिटी भी रख रहा है तो नाल बॉडी एंड किचन भी थोड़ा ख्याल रख रहा है बॉडी एंड किचन तो साढ़े बहुत खास शख्सियत हो जी इस भीडियो के जरिए एंड आके थानू बिल्कुल समझागियाँ कि तुम्हें कि वर्कआउट करना है कि करना है तो बहुत जरूरी गल कि जो मतलब वर्कआउट कर लीद तो खाने वास्तव चीज़ा कि चाहिए है ने रेसिपीज जो ने सू पता होनी चाहिए ने जी सा बॉडी वास्ते जरूरी है ने सो इस बिल्कुल दस मैं कि जी बॉडी एंड किचन जो कि थोड़ी बॉडी का ध्यान रखता है तो खास करके रेसिपीज खाने वाली चीज़ों बारे भी ध्यान रखता है कि तुम बिल्कुल फिट एंड फाइन रहो सो दस मैं कि जी डुबई तो शिवानी जी साढ़े हो गए तो वर्षा जी फ्रॉम होलैंड एंड शारदा जी फ्रॉम इंडिया जी थानू अलग अलग चीज़ों बारे समझाने कि थोड़ी बॉडी वास्ते कि चीज़ा जरूरी है ने एंड कि नहीं ओके सो अज की खास वीडियो शुरुआत करते हैं कि जो वर्कआउट करना मतलब शुरू करता बंद पहली बार ना तो कि कर सकता है किड़िया कि एक्सरसाइज कर सकता है आओ फिर जानते हैं जी साडे इंस्ट्रक्टर एंड फिटनेस एक्सपर्ट शिवानी जी तो आर यू रेडी गाइस चक्र फटे Hi, I'm Shivani from Body and Kitchen presenting Kill. Kill is a clean eating active lifestyle program that I've carefully tailored for those of you out there who don't want to diet but who want to alter their lifestyle. Today I'm here with Radio City's RJ Sandy to give you a 5-minute quick workout. So I hope you're ready for this. We're focusing on our core today. Many people always ask me, how can I strengthen my core? Well, this can be done through various exercises, but today I'm going to focus on the abdominals, the upper, middle, lower and your obliques on the side. So get ready. I'm going to press start on my timer and we're going to start with a quick warm up. This is really important before you start any workout. So for the warm up, I want you to go into a yoga position which is called downward dog. Spread your legs a little bit and try for your heels to sink into the floor mat and really stretch out your lats, your calves, your thighs. Give it a good stretch. Move forward. and go back. Do this two or three times as much as you need. And when you've done that, we're going to come onto our backs. And we're going to start our ab workouts. We will start with our obliques. So carefully lift your neck and shoulders off the floor if you can. Engage your core and start tapping your heels. Try to reach for it as much as you can. If you really can't, small movements are fine. If you really can, squeeze those obliques and keep going. We're going to do this for about a minute. If you are putting too much pressure on your neck, don't worry, go back down. Take a minute. Squeeze your core, come back up. Make sure the pressure is here and keep going. RJ Sandy, are you doing this with me? Keep going. Almost there. The next workout is going to be a very easy one. This is going to strengthen our lower abdominals. You will lie down flat on the floor and alternate by lengthening your legs onto the floor. And this is really good for beginners out there who are trying to strengthen their core. who don't have enough strength in their as of yet to do the advanced workouts. This is how I started with strengthening my core 
after pregnancy. And that is it. That's a five minute quick abdominal workout that was really effective. We have worked our obliques, we have worked our center abdominals and our lower abdominals. A complete workout. We're going to focus on our glutes and hamstrings today. So widen your legs, keep them really far apart and just try to reach the floor if you can. If you cannot reach the floor, then hold on to your knees and slowly work your way to your ankles and then one day you will be able to reach the floor. When I started doing this, I started here and this was enough for me. Then I was able to reach my calves, my ankles and today I'm on the floor. So really stretch it out really well. Once you've done that and you feel good, we're gonna start a sumo squat. A sumo squat, basically you keep your feet hip, not hip width apart, wider than hip width apart. So if you're on hip width, take a step further, point your toes outwards and try to sit. Balance, I always keep my hands like this for balancing. You can keep them like this, you can keep them on your side. I'm gonna show you how this looks from the side. And if this is too hard for you, grab a chair, put it behind you and literally try to lead with your glutes and sit on it. Do this for about a minute, keep going. Sit. The first step would be sitting on the chair. The second one would be holding onto the chair for balance and going down. And then once you've mastered your balance, posture, you'll be able to do these without any support. So once we're done with this, we are going to start another exercise. We're gonna do a straight leg deadlift. You keep your legs straight. I'm gonna show you from the side. Put your hands behind your head. Keep your back straight and move forward. And then you come back up. Move your hips back. Again, down. Up. And as you come up, you really have to squeeze your glutes. So, to show you how it looks from here. Go down. And up. And keep going. Down. Don't bend your back. Don't bend your knees. Keep them all straight. Go down. Up. It's like having a stick on your back that keeps you straight at all times. Down up. I hope you feel amazing. We have worked our glutes and hamstrings really well today. Very effective within five minutes. Workout doesn't need to last very long and this is what kale is about. It's about quick meals which is part of the nutrition, the clean eating part. Quick meals, nutritious meals in which you can eat anything you want. We make burgers, we make fast foods but in a healthy way. We uh, make healthy cookies. So head over to our Instagram or Facebook if you're not following us yet. Today in episode three, we are going to be focusing on strengthening our shoulders and our back. Strengthening your back can be so beneficial if you're suffering from upper back pain. You just have to know which exercises to do and that's what I'm going to show you today. So in this exercise uh, routine, you will need something with a bit of stretch. I will be using, I'm going to show you, it is a stretch band. You can find these almost everywhere and stay tuned because we are launching these ourselves as well really soon. And if you do not have this, don't worry, grab any kind of pants with a bit of stretch in it and you can just use that as we go. Or for certain workouts, you can also just use anything with weight, such as water bottles, milk bottles, anything with the same weight. So it needs to be two items with of the same weight and you can just use that as well. So let's start. For the first exercise, we're going to start with the warm up. For the warm up, we're gonna do something really easy. I'm gonna put this aside for now. And we're just going to rotate our shoulders. Just keep on rotating your shoulders, really nice. Five times towards the back, and then five times coming in front again. So from the side, I'll show you. Really easy, try to make big rounds. Great. Once you've done that, we are going to move on to our first workout, which is going to be a band pull apart. So you hold the band in front of you, keep your arms very straight and start pulling the band. It's also really easy to just be on your, on your knees and just pull them apart. I'm going to show you from the front again what I could do. 
Let's double it up for some extra resistance or just open it up, keep it. Keep my hands really close or really far. It doesn't matter as long as you're just doing this. Just for less distraction, keep going. I'm going to be doing this for a minute. Keep your hands straight. Watch your posture, Sandy. That's really important. We're almost there. So after this, I'm gonna stay on my knees and I'm going to do some shoulder rotations uh, with the band. So I'm holding my hands next to my body with the band in my hands. I'm just gonna go all the way to the back, all the way back. This really helps mobility as well. So this will help you some if to, to stretch out your shoulders really good. If you can't make it all the way down, don't worry. Just go as far as you can go. Do this for a minute. Exercise is not just about building up strength or muscles in particular. It's not about bulking all the time. It's also about mobility. It's about rehabilitation, flexibility. It's all really, really important in exercise. It's important to stay healthy. So Sandy, do you find this difficult or do you think this is still okay? I'm gonna show you from the front again. Not too hard. Go as you, as much as you can do. So then we're going to strengthen our back. For this, I have to stand up and I'm going to put one foot on this band. And I'll show you another alternative in a bit. I'm going to hold it really close. You can put two feet, but I'm just gonna keep my second feet next to it, next to my first. And I'm going to just pull this up. Now, if you don't have a stretch band, don't worry. Grab anything of weight. I'm just going to grab my dumbbells and I will show you. Bend the knees, pull back your hips, hands straight next to your knees and pull it up. That's it. That is it. If it's too hard to keep your feet together, keep a little gap, but make sure to bend those knees, keep your back still and just pull. And this is really good for your upper back. This is what helped me to recover from carrying my baby around so much. Today in episode four, we are going to be focusing on our quads and on our calves. Really important muscle groups. People often skip leg days. I do not recommend this. It's really important to train your lower body, especially because this is what's holding us up, isn't it? So a very quick workout for you. We're going to start right now. So to stretch, we are very simply gonna put one foot forward, toes pointing up and stretch it out. If you can, bend your other knee, lengthen this leg and try to reach for your toes. Hips pull backwards and you can really feel the stretch all the way till here, which is good. If you cannot do this, no worries. Just as much as you can bend it or keep it straight. Keep stretching that leg. Then move on to the other side and do the same. Good stretch. And come back up. So let's start. We are going to start with our calves actually. We are going to, again, stand straight, really easy. Hands beside your body and lift the heels off the floor. And we're going to do that for one minute. Really easy. Lift your feet off the floor and lower them back down. Lift it and lower it, focusing on very small movements and standing still. I'm going to go more towards the middle of my mat. Lift and lower, slow movements. Don't go too fast. This is not what you want to be doing because that's not going to benefit you. The slower you do your workouts, the better. Controlled movements up and down for one minute. Try not to squeeze your knees because then you're going to put too much pressure on them and you're gonna end up hurting yourself. Next workout, lunges. Who knows who to do those? So we're going to stand at the end of our, of our exercise mat. You take one step forward and bend both your knees. This one's gonna go down and this one's gonna move forward. Come back up. Do this five times each side. You can alternate them, meaning you do one side, then the other side, or you can just 
Do them 30 seconds each, as you wish. As long as you're doing this for one minute, keep going. I'm going to offer static lunges. Slow movements, try not to um, bend too much. If, if this knee bends over your uh, toe, it means you're not in the correct position. This is really important because you're going to put too much pressure on your knees. So this is what you're supposed to look like. Straight, straight, that's exactly what we're doing. Today, instead of a full body, we are going to focus on our upper body. We're going to focus on our biceps and chest. For a warm up, this is gonna be very different from what we've done before. It's not a stretch. It's a running exercise. So we're going to stand in one place. We're going to run, lifting your knees. That's it. 30 seconds, you can do this. Don't go left, right, don't do this. It's not what we're doing. Don't go sluggish. Nice controlled movements, really important here. And in each and every exercise that you do. Don't try to rush anything. We're just trying to get our body warm for the workout. 30 seconds is all you need. Go slow. All right, great. Now that we've done this, we are going to move on to our biceps. What you will need is your resistance band or you can grab your weights, whatever you want. If you don't have professional dumbbells, don't worry. Anything, two similar objects of the same weight. So this is a very simple bicep workout. We're going to Hold your assistant band, um, put one foot behind and one foot forward. All right, and just raise your arms. Keep your elbows next to your hips, arms still, and pull. Keep pulling. Do this for a minute. Keep pulling. If you opt to use heavy objects, which is fine, or your dumbbells, I will show you. Stand still, show you from the side. Engage your core. Each and every workout you do, engage your core. And this is so important because people always ask me, I want um, to focus on abdominal exercise as well. Many other exercises focusing like now on biceps also engage your uh, focus on your core by engaging it so it's not only about focusing on your abs it's focusing on your entire body making it stronger and your abs eventually will join in so keep doing this for a minute once you've done that we will move on to the next exercise for the next exercise we're going to do a quick push-up now you might tell me you might think right now that push-ups i can't do them i'm going to show you really easy ways to get them done for all you beginners out there, what you're going to do, you're going to get onto your knees and then onto your arms. So what you do, your hands should be um, below your shoulders and you stay in this position. Now what you're going to do, this is very low impact, you're going to lower and lift. Lower your front body, your chest and lift. So easy. So this is how you're going to build up your strength. If you already can do this, what you're going to do, you're going to put your knees further apart. You're going to go into a half plank. And I am pushing, I'm pu uh, pushing through the arms. Go down, come back up, keep your entire upper body still, engage your core. Again, engage your core, very important. Come up, do this for a minute. Again, if this is something you cannot do, no worries, go back to the previous position. Always spread your fingers. That's really important to just keep that balance going. Go down, come up, down, up, down, up. And from here you will notice eventually you will be able to do a half plank push up. And the first time I found out I could do this after my pregnancy and delivery, I was very proud and show, so should you. Did you actually do this for a good five minutes with me or did you take breaks because I couldn't keep an eye on you today? Not to worry, I want to finish off with a quick tip, which is how to uh, overcome our sweet cravings. Basically, how do we start craving sweets if we do not start our day with a good breakfast and our first snack is equally important. If we don't, have, if we don't incorporate anything that, that is sweet within those two first meals, then later on the day you are going to be craving sweets. 
in order to lose weight or to live a healthy lifestyle as we call it, people often avoid sweets and this is not a bad thing, but it depends on which sweets we're talking. Are we talking about the processed sugars or natural sugars? When it comes to natural sugars, then I'm talking about honey, I'm talking about um, fruits. Those are very, very important and you should not exclude this from your diet. So in order to curb those cravings, what do you do? I always have my first, as, as my first snack, if I can, if not for breakfast, I will have it uh, as a first snack, a banana. And bananas are so good, they keep you full. They are full of natural sugars. And the thing is that with natural sugars, it processes very fast through your body. So it doesn't make you gain weight. It does help you keeping everything in, in, on level. When it comes to your sugar levels and everything, it keeps everything good. So incorporate fruits as your first snack if you are one of those persons like me who craves sweets during the day. I've actually noticed that since I, I either put it in my breakfast smoothie or on my pancakes for breakfast, and if I don't do this, I always have it as my first snack. And this has helped me to manage my sweet cravings throughout the day. So that was a quick tip from me to you. I'm here with Radio City's RJ Sandy. Radio City, thank you for making this happen and I'll see you next time. What about you? What about So biceps and chest no strong. Rakhan vaste. I just work out. Then no. Dasya ga Shivani ji ne. Then mega ji na bisno apni zindagi mein chala ke aao. The fit and fine raho. Last mil diya ji. Agle episode mein thano and thano video ki mein lagi apne kimti feedback and naal naal is video no share zaroor karo. The baaki koi sawal hoga the, obi comment box se tujhe likh sakte ho. Mil diya ji. Agle video mein ta tali hazdi wazira tandrastrao. The kendi raho. Rag rag ch. Don't sit here. From Bolito Radio City. Radio City.